Dr. Robert Amler, former CDC chief medical officer, dean of New York Medical College. Hey, Dr. Uh, Amler, welcome to the show, sir, and a good morning to you. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for having me. Well, we're very, very happy to have you here, sir. Uh, 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 the, the, the coronavirus. Our, our concerns overblown. I'm a, you know, I, I worry about these things. I, I'm just, I'm a germaphobe. Is this overblown? Does this whole coronavirus thing? Well, you're right, Joe. Let's face it. People really are starting to worry. There's a lot of sick people in China. People are always traveling to and fro, and now some people are getting sick in a few locations here in the United States. Oh boy. And we've heard this morning airlines are canceling flights, and even the markets are nervous. So we're all wondering, like you said, is it just a matter of time, and what can we do now? Yeah, well, we, we spoke with some of the medical uh, experts who said that we should be more panicked over the flu instead of the coronavirus. Is that a view that you share? Yeah, I heard your interview with Dr. Neshawat, and by the yeah. way, she's terrific, and so are yeah. you. Uh, uh, and, thank uh, you, sir. She was, she was absolutely right. Uh, the flu right now is in the United States. It's in the New York area. It is making people very sick. Just look around your own family or your office mates, and you'll see it happening. And sadly, people are dying from this. There's more than 8,000 deaths in the United States so far, according to the CDC. Holy moly, 8,000 deaths from the flu. You know, so uh, far and, this year. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Now, now, the people that have died from the coronavirus, all of them are in China? I don't know if they're all in China, but of course, none of them are in the United States at the present time. So even though the facts are not in yet, we do know how viruses spread. So there's a lot you can do to protect yourself. Uh, what can we do? Give us some of those points that what we can do to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. Joe, I've got three steps and one extra for everybody tuned in this morning. I'm First, writing them down. Avoid... Okay. Okay. First, avoid close contact, if you can, with people who are obviously sick and coughing. And the CDC says keep at least six feet away. Wow. Second, okay. if you or somebody close is sick, stay home, cover up, wear a mask if you can, don't share cups and utensils with the people around you, and get medical attention if it's getting bad. Wow. Okay. And, then, and, and what else? Anything else? I'm, well, writing it down. If, I'm, I'm such a worry wart. You, really, I'm like freaking out. If you out. do go, go for ahead. medical attention, we're yeah. asking people to call ahead first. Give your doctor's office or the emergency room a heads up so they can receive you with the right precautions and do protective measures to protect the others who are waiting to be seen. All right. Now, now how do you know if someone is contagious, Doc? What, what can we look for? If they're sick, they have a fever, and they're coughing, uh, they're spitting, uh, you know, shedding fluid, basically, out of their nose, mouth. Uh, these are usually uh, uh, infectious, and uh, you can get sick if these droplets land in your, in your oh, face. Wow. So, um, you know, we yeah. do recommend, you know, keep that distance. Of course, more than six feet is better, but the CDC says that ideally at least six feet away. All and right. uh, there's a third step that you can take, and as you mentioned already, get that flu shot if you haven't already. Uh, it's a real bad flu epidemic right now, right here, real serious, and it's not too late to get that flu shot even now in January. Hey, doc, Dr. Robert Ambler with us. Doc, it, it, for those deaths, you know, flu deaths, could they have been avoided if those folks got the flu shot, do you think? It's never 100% certain. Yeah, but we do yeah. believe, and the CDC states, that even when the flu shot may not totally prevent the flu, uh, most people who get the shot will have a milder form of the illness, and that implies that they are less likely uh, to be seriously ill and, and less likely to die. All right. Hey, Doc, are you pleased with how public health authorities in this country are handling the coronavirus? At the moment, everything is being done. The CDC is already screening travelers who arrive from those parts of the world. Uh, they are giving them uh, cards, telling them what to do if they do get sick after they arrive here in the U.S. Uh, and there's a very active program 
to the state and local health departments, including New York City and the surrounding counties and New York State, to make sure that people with illnesses that could be flu or coronaviruses are tested. Uh, and those tests are run quite rapidly because we have much more rapid tests than we used to. All right. Hey, great chat, Doc. Uh, thanks so much. Dr. Robert Amley, we appreciate it. And thanks for the shout out. You're right. Do- uh, Dr. Neshawat is great. She was great on the show. And, uh, it's, you know, we, those of us who have children uh, worry about these things. And it's just plain scary. So we appreciate you, uh, your expertise on the show this morning, Dr. Sure. Amley. Thank and, you so much. And finally, Joe, uh, tell people to check out the CDC website for any new guidelines. It's easy. It's cdc.gov, G-O-V. Okay. Okay. And we will do a live presentation this Friday morning, and mm. it's open to the public at Turo College near Penn Station on West 31st Street. And that's Friday from 9 to 12. Call Turo for details, 646-565-6420. Turo, what, what, what's the demonstration you do? What you doing? Are you giving shots? This will be, you... No, this will be a presentation on mm. the coronavirus Uh, What is known about it scientifically and what's known about it in terms of the public health actions that we need to take to protect ourselves, our families, our loved ones, and our coworkers. Great, great chat. Thanks for joining us this morning, Dr. Amler. We'll talk soon. You bet, Joe. Thanks very much. Stay well. Thank thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. Robert Amler, former CDC Chief Medical Officer, Dean of New York Medical College.